what's happening ladies and gentlemen Steven Davidson here in a shave video I've got a full blown eight days worth of beer growth easy I'd have to look up to see what time it was on the last shave but it's been over a week I've been so busy it ain't been funny I've got honing videos uploading and processing as we speak so they'll probably be up before this one but uh, yeah it's been that crazy here Go print my face off camera with the usual suspect. Barbara Soul 1919 Leatherless Shave Cream. I've had it soaking while I was in the shower. We'll go with my Omega 10049 Professional Board. And if you saw the honing videos, we're going to be testing all four razors, all four of my straight razors, edge test. To see how I did and if they don't go well none of them go well and I have to go back to the honing stones I've got my Henson AL 13 medium on standby with a fresh Gillette 7 o'clock super stainless green label and to start today's party it's been a minute since I used his stuff but uh, I'm gonna go with my buddy Frank Mises strikegoldshave.com soap this is the Kennedy scent, Brute by Fabergé. And speaking of Brute, we're going to fish it off with Brute. All right. I'm going to go ahead and prep my face and get started. And when I come back, I should be fully prepped and lathered up. So stand by. I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm back. Yogurt, anyone? Slick, thick, creamy lather. Thick, creamy goodness, as my buddy James Salazar says. Or Jamie G.I. James. Let me go over his channel, see what he's got. Okay, now we're going to start with my first razor, this one. See how it does. Awful small. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Oh. Fantastic. That one's good to go. Keep pissing over here just in case I have to use it. Now for the, uh, my favorite looking one, the bamboo one. Keep this bad boy up. Touch up. <clears throat> That one goes back in the home pile. I'll go straight to the 8K and then finish on it. All razors got stropped on my Tomo Nagura Midnight Black Strop for 25 round trips. Smooth leather only. Okay, now let's try this bad boy. But that first one's spot on. Touch up, pal. Now for this one. So far, the first one's the only one. Maybe this one will give me some hope. Nope. Touch up, pal. No problem. That gives me another honing video. And there's only two stones involved in the touch up. Okay. Back to this one. This one's nice.
Got these peeling that beard off like a hot knife through butter. This one is. Could use more though. I'll probably just touch up all four of them in the next toning video. I'll do that later today. I got too much to do today though. That won't be till tonight. But I'll tell you what, this one's nice. That's what I love about street razor shaving. All I have to do is go to an 8K. Now that the bevel's been set on these. Do my usual deal. Don't need to do much with these. Nice first pass. Let's rinse up. Okay, you can see it's trying to pull and tug right in the mustache area. So yeah, definitely needs more. But I'm pleased with that first pass. I'm nearly there. I'm almost dialed in. All right. I'm going to switch to my Henson at this point. Now for my Henson AL13 Medium or Plus Plus. Fresh Gillette 7 o'clock green up in there. Super stainless. Oh my. This got to be my most comfortable razor. My black lens is real good at efficient at removing hair, but it's still not as comfortable as this one. Hands down. Especially with this kind of blade in there.
New guys, did you see what I just did? I didn't go across the grain or none of that. I went right back to with the grain pass. And I still get more than a socially acceptable shave. See, when you go to relather, your brush lifts up what's hairs left if you do it right and work it in. You're not trying to build a lather at that point. You're just trying to work it into your beard and saturate the uh, beard really good. So you don't have to do across the grain or against the grain or anything like that unless you want to. You can just get by with doing a couple of with the grain passes and you're good to go. Pass three. May have to quit using it. My face is burning. That's not good. We'll call that good, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm going to shut it down and get cleaned up. When I come back, we'll recap and finish her off. So stand by. I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm back. Very nice, close, clean, smooth, comfortable shave in the end. First razor started out great, and then the others was lacking a little something, something, but they ain't far off, so... Won't be long before I get them dialed in. Alright, with that being said, let's go ahead and recap. I prepped my face off camera with Barber Soul 1919 Latherless Shave Cream. Good stuff. I went with my Omega 10049 Professional Board Brush 26mm Knot. Well, you can get that back in there and soak it again. I did an edge test on all four of my razors. I believe this one was the best one out of the bunch. I ended up finishing with my Henson AL13++ medium when I had a fresh Gillette 7 o'clock green super stainless in there. And to start today's party was Strike Gold Shaves Kennedy, which is a Brute Fabergé scent. And we're going to finish it off with Brute Classic scent. This is one of Mom's favorite colognes right here. Brute Single dose first, see how it does. Oh, and it burns good too.
Definitely worth the double dose. Uh, all right. Ah, fantastic shave, folks. Fantastic shave. You're just not going to beat that. All right. Woo. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again real soon. Take care. God bless. Later.